to Gen Z Talk. I'm Z. Besides the Chinese New Year, there's another big holiday that's just around the corner. Duanwujie, or Dragon Balls Festival, is a traditional Chinese holiday that's celebrated on the fifth day of the fifth month in the Chinese calendar. This year, it is on the June 3rd in the Gregorian calendar. There are a few possible origins of this festival, but the most well-known one is related to the death of a minister back in ancient China named Qu Yuan. Back in Warren State's period, which is more than 2,000 years ago, many nations were fighting each other for power. Of course, the nation that Qu Yuan was in was also in this situation. His views on foreign affairs was different from the emperor, and as a result of that, he was exiled. He believed that the emperor will change his mind. He waited for years. Unfortunately, during his exile, the nation was captured by a stronger neighboring nation. Feeling disappointed, he committed suicide by drowning himself in the Minhuo River. The local people who admire him had tried to save him. Some raced out their boats, others dropped sticky rice balls into the river to prevent the fish from eating Chiren's body. The boats eventually become dragon boat race, which happens on this day, and the sticky rice balls become zongzi, which is the food associated with this day. Other practices include hanging calamus and warm wood leaves on top of the door. This is because the fifth month in lunar calendar is supposedly an unlucky month, so it is believed that these plants are going to ward off the evil spirits. Similarly, people would also carry amulets with real gear in it and also take baths with pomelo peels as a way to defend against pests such as mosquitoes. Traditionally, adults would also drink real beer wine, though this practice is becoming less and less common these days. Children also practice egg balancing. Legends say that if you are able to make an uncooked egg stand up during noon, then that would be good luck for the rest of the year. Yeah! This event is not only practiced by places where there is a significant Chinese population, many other countries in the East Asian cultural sphere also have similar events. So yeah, I hope you learned about one of the three biggest traditional Chinese festivals. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Go buy us that egg because who doesn't want extra good luck? Just don't break it though. Let me know if you're able to make it stand. I'll see you next time. Bye!